Good morning, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Levi Nolasco. I'm a realtor here in sunny Las Cruces, New Mexico. In today's video, I'm going to take you through a neighborhood that I take a lot of people when they first arrive to Las Cruces, just to get them acquainted with some of our eclectic neighborhoods. The area we'll be touring today is called Telshore, and we're gonna start from the south side of Telshore and head over to the north side where it changes over into Four Hills. There's a few things that people really love about this area. As you can see behind me, we have A Mountain, which is a really good place to hike to bike, uh, to get out and walk dogs, to stargaze. Can't see it from here. There's an observatory at the very top of the mountain. Living in this area provides you a lot of access to the outdoors uh, and really easily. So right behind me and down the street just a little bit is New Mexico State Golf Course, which is a public golf course. Um, and then down the street from there is going to be New Mexico State University. So if you like attending games, concerts, walking to campus, anything like that, that's just right down the street. You also have restaurants, grocery stores, and a whole host of other amenities, including Memorial Hospital. Prices in this area are gonna range from about the low 300 thousands uh, up into the million. So there's quite a big spread of pricing out here. Um, what I really love about this area is it kind of changes from newer houses. As you can see behind me, it looks like Sonoma Ranch to houses that were built in the 60s and 70s. So uh, a lot of character, a lot of mature trees, really pretty streets, and they have really large lot sizes in Telshore. So if you're looking to be really close to town, like right in the middle of town and have a nice big lot, uh, Telshore is definitely worth a look. The one caution I would say with Telshore is a lot of the houses are older and it's like 50-50 on if they've been updated or not. So sometimes they'll need some updating before you move in. But of course, that's up to your preference as well. And you also have Dripping Springs National Monument right up the street. So a lot of trails up there as well. Just a really beautiful area, central to everything, really easy access to everything, and beautiful sights as we're about to show you. Please remember to like and subscribe. Join my Facebook group called Moving to Las Cruces. Let's hop on the scooter and take a little cruise. All right, so we're here right off University and Desert Sand. So if you go east, you're gonna go all the way to the uh, Dripping Springs National Monument. It takes you all the way up to the mountains. Uh, a lot of really nice trails and things over there. Of course, you have A Mountain, which is a great area to get out. And then right down the street is Sonoma Ranch Golf Course and the University. And this street going down here will get pretty busy once you cross over the freeway with amenities and things that you'll need just in daily life. A lot of really great restaurants as well. So wait, wait for this car to pass and then I'll turn around. Okay, so as you see, we're gonna have newer houses from the early 2000s to start off this trip. Beautiful. Pueblo style houses. And of course, you're never five steps away from the mountains. Let's go, let's go right this time. I wanna show you some houses that'll have some amazing views if they come on the market. And it's gonna be these ones lining the street to the right.
Okay, we're gonna turn around here. Salinas. On this side of things, you're going to have a lot more houses that were built in the 1960s, so you'll see a lot of brick houses like this. Uh, a really nice lawn. Dang, that's a really nice lawn. And then, of course, you have deferring elevations, so you have amazing views like this for many parts of this neighborhood. Okay, so then this will give you a good view of kind of where we are. So uh, you're gonna have the mall that's right down here. 
Uh, you have university, uh, uni university campus that's going to be over here, maybe about a mile. And then if we keep on going north, we're going to run into Sonoma Ranch. Um, all of this is going to be Telshore. Uh, you're, again, you're going to see a lot of uh, townhouses, single family residences. I'm sorry, you're going to see a lot of single family residences, townhouses, duplex all the way up to fourplex, and some apartment complexes as well. One thing I want to mention real quick is a lot of these houses, we're on Missouri Street now, a lot of these houses out here have, uh, or they were built in the 70s and 80s, um, a lot of them will have an atrium, so they'll have like trees inside or just an open atrium uh, indoors, which is pretty interesting, uh, can be a little funky, but look nice if you do it right. So again, you're kind of right smack dab in the middle of town and you have easy access to the outdoors. So um, I don't think you can take motorized vehicles. I do see a four wheeler track there, but um, yeah, you have trails right here in your backyard. So now uh, this area that we're getting into, you're going to see a lot more um, townhouses, duplexes, and triplexes. And I think these are really great, really great houses. So on Hill Rise, on Hill Rise, you're gonna have a whole row of um, townhouses. And then right down here, this is where uh, the majority of the duplexes and triplexes are gonna be, uh, down towards, I guess, the west side of uh, Hill Rise. Afghan pines, they do really well here in the desert. Another trail back there. So as we get here to the top of the Telshore area, to the highest point, the houses will change pretty quickly from about 350, 400,000, um, up to 500,000, and then we have million dollar houses, uh, or close to a million dollar house uh, up here at the top. The 
and this will well let's go ahead and go over here so then once we cross this um speed bump right ahead of us that's going to enter into a different area and it's actually a really pretty area but i'll have to do a video on that next time but just to show you so now you know as i'm saying Telshore is right in the middle of town so you have a bunch of amenities the mall everything over here and then on this side you have some of the newer amenities that are connected to sonoma ranch uh, and then right in front of us you can see the uh, hospital so you're pretty much central to everything uh, and you can see how large these lot sizes are this one is a gigantic lot. Let's go down Sundown Court, or I'm sorry, Sundown Road. I know for a fact a lot of these houses are on one acre lots. And then we'll just loop around. Beautiful, beautiful street. Let's take this to Hills. Majestic Ridge. You can see the mountains back there. Let's take a right and then we'll loop around. down arrowhead yeah it honestly doesn't feel like you're in the high, high desert. desert i mean this looks to me like some part of california or just a different city i love this street Let's see if i can hop over a little bit Pop down executive. Oh, those are nice. Italian cypress also grows really well in the high desert.
Here. Okay, let's go down one more street called Imperial Ridge. We have RV parking. So just a recap, we were in the Telshore area, which is right in the middle of Las Cruces. You're going to have a lot of amenities, hiking, outdoor access, recreation uh, within minutes of just even walking out of your front door. Um, prices here range from starting around $350,000 all the way up to a million, but on average you're going to find the houses closer to uh, $400,000 up to $500,000. So thank you again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.